Hello dear children, today we will do exercise 6.4 of unit 6 that is decimals. Now the first question is convert the following decimals into common fractions. Now here decimals are given to us and we have to convert these decimals into common fractions. So if it is 0 0.8 then we will write the numbers. Now here it is only 8 and then we have to see that after decimal the last digit is at which place. So here the digit is at tenths place so the denominator will be 10 or in the other way if we will see that there is only one digit after the decimal so there should be only one zero along with one in the denominator so the denominator should be 10. Now if we can further reduce this fraction to the lowest terms we have to reduce it because we have learned in the common fraction chapter that the answer should be in the lowest terms okay. So 2 4s are 8 and 2 5s are 10. Now 4 by 5 cannot be further reduced. Now it has no other common factor except 1 so 4 by 5 will be the final answer. Now next is 0 0.35. So write 35 here as the numerator without any decimal point. Then see the last digit of the decimal part. It is 5 and it is at hundredths place. So the denominator will be 100 or if there are two digits after the decimal, the denominator should be 100. And see whether it can be reduced further or not. Yes, it can be reduced. So 5 7s are 35, 5 2s are 10 and 0. And 7 by 20 cannot be further reduced. So 7 by 20 will be the final answer. Part C 0 0.208. Now write down the number that is 208 as the numerator. And then see the last digit of the decimal part. 8. It is at thousandths place. So the denominator should be thousand. In the other way, if there are three digits after the decimal point, there should be three zeros in the denominator along with one. Now we can further reduce it in the lowest terms. So two ones are two, zero and two fours are eight. And here two fives are ten and zero and zero. Again, two fives are ten, two twos are four. And here two twos are four, one carry, it will be two fives are ten and zero. Now further we can reduce it. 2 2's are 4, 2 6 are 12. 2 1's are 2, 2 2's are 4, 2 5's are 10. And still we can reduce it. Now, now we cannot reduce it. Now it is 26 by 125. It cannot be further reduced because it has no other common factor except 1. So 26 by 125 will be the final answer. Now next one is 0 0.125. Now here write the number 125 as the numerator and then see the last digit of the decimal part. It is 5 and it is at thousandths place. So the denominator should be 1000. If we see in the other way, there are three digits after the decimal point. So the denominator should have three zeros along with one. And we can further reduce it. So let us reduce. 5 2s are 10. 2 carry will go here. So 5 5s five are 25. Here 5 2s are 10, 0 and 0. Again 5 5s five are 25. 5 4s are 20 and 0. Further 5 1s are 5 and 5 8s are 40. So 1 by 8 will be the final answer. Now next one is 1.02. So write 102 as the numerator and then see the last digit of the decimal part 2. It is at hundredths place. So the denominator should be 100. Now let us reduce it. So 2 5s are 10 and 2 1s are 2. Here 2 5s are 10 and 0. So 51 by 50 will be the final answer. Now if 51 by 50 is an improper fraction then an improper fraction is always expressed in terms of mixed numbers. So what we are supposed to do? We need to divide it and we need to represent our answer in terms of mixed numbers. So denominator will be same. 50 ones are 50 and 50 plus 1 is 51. So 1, 1 by 50 will be the final answer. Fine. This is the final answer which we have expressed in terms of mixed numbers. Now next is 3.25. So write 325 as the numerator and then see the last digit of the decimal part. It is at hundredths place. So the denominator should be 100. Now 325 by 100 we have to reduce it 
and after reducing our answer will be 13 by 4. Fine. Now 13 by 4 is an improper fraction. So you need to divide 13 by 4 and you need to express the answer in terms of mixed numbers. Now you can divide it like this. Long division method. You can divide it like this. So denominator will be same. 4 threes are 12. Fine. Quotient is written here and whatever is the remainder that will be written here. So 3 1 by 4 will be the final answer. You can divide and check because here we write quotient as the whole number and remainder as the numerator. So this is how you can express the decimals in terms of common fractions. Now the next question. Question number 2. Convert the following common fractions into decimals. Now here common fractions are given to us and we need to express these common fractions as decimals. So how we can do that? Let me just show you. So it is 3 by 10. So how we can read it? It is 3 tenths. So if it is 3 tenths, it means 3 should be at the tenths place after decimal. And before decimal, we put 0. We have to put 0 because there is no whole number. Because it is 3 tenths, 3 should be at tenths place. That is why in whole number we have written 0. Now 17 by 100, it is 17 hundredths. It means 17 should end at hundredths place. So 7 of 17 should be at hundredths place and 1 will be at tenths place. And in the other way, if we see the question, if there are two zeros in the denominator, there should be two digits after the decimal point. So you can think in any way. Fine. So 0 0.17 will be the answer. Next is 149 by 100. Means 149 hundredths. Means the last digit of 149 should be at hundredths place. So this is decimal then tenths hundredths. So it means 9 should be at hundredths place. Then 4 will come here and obviously if 9 should be at 100's place, then 4 will be at 10's place and obviously 1 will be in the whole number place, means at 1's place, fine. So it is 1.49, you have to see if it is 149 by 100, it means 149 100's, it means 9 should be at 100's place. So if 9 is at 100's place, 4 will be at 10's place, obviously there is no more place before tens in the decimal part so one will move here on the left side of the decimal point now next part is 49 by 50 now here the denominator is 50 but if we have to represent a common fraction into decimals first of all we have to make the denominator equals to 100 1000 or something like that so we can make 50 as the denominator 100 how 50 into 2 is 100. So the numerator will also get multiplied by the same number. So 49 into 2 when we will multiply will get 98 and the denominator is 100. So if the denominator is 100 it means it is 98 hundreds. It means 8 should be at 100th place, 9 at 10th place. Here we will have decimal part and here 0. Or if there are 2 digits up in the denominator, 2 zeros in fact in the denominator then after decimal there should be two digits. So 0 0.98 is the decimal form of 49 by 50. Now next is 7 by 8. Now if it is 7 by 8 we cannot make it 10 or we cannot make it 100 because uh, we cannot get 100 by multiplying uh, 8 by any number. So we will multiply this 8 by 125 so that we can get the denominator 1000. So the numerator will also get multiplied by the same number. So after multiplication we will get 875. Now if the denominator is 1000 it means there should be 3 digits in the after the decimal point so 875 now here we'll have 0 or you can write 875 and counting from the right side 1 2 3 before 3 digits you can put the decimal now the next part is part G 25 by 4 now here we have to multiply this denominator 4 by a number to make it equal to 100 so we will multiply the denominator by 25 
and the numerator also by 25 so 25 into 25 is 625 and 4 into 25 is 100 so it is 625 hundreds it means 5 should be at hundreds place or you can say that you please write down the numerator and then count the number of zeros in the denominator there are two zeros so counting from the right side one two put a decimal here counting from the right side it means after decimal there should be two digits so the answer will be 6.25 now the next one is 17 by 2 so here we can multiply the denominator 2 by 5 because it can become 10 so 17 the numerator will also get multiplied by 5 so 17 into 5 is 85 and 2 into 5 is 10 so it is 85 tenths it means that 5 should be at 10th place so 8 is before it so it will move on to the left side of the decimal or you can say if the denominator is 10 there should be one digit after the decimal now the next one is part i 20 by 16 so if we can reduce any fraction first of all we have to reduce it so after reducing it is 4 5s are 20 and 4 4s are 16 means 5 by 4 and now we can multiply the denominator by 25 to make it 100 so the numerator will also get multiplied by the same number so we will have 125 by 100 now if the denominator is having two zeros then write the numerator and then and counting from the right side before two digits put decimal fine so it is 1.25 now the next part is part j it is in mixed numbers so first of all we have to convert it into improper fraction that is 5 2s are 10 plus 3 13 and the denominator will remain same now we can multiply the denominator by 2 because it will become 10. So, the numerator will also get multiplied by the same number. So, it will be 26 by 10. Now, it is 26 tenths means 6 should be at tenths place. Or you can say, write the numerator. If the denominator is having 1, 0, then from the right side count 1 digit and put decimal before it. Because if the denominator is having 1, 0, there should be 1 digit after decimal. After the decimal, if it is 2, then the number of digits after decimal should be 2 and so on. Now, the next one, part K, 1, 3 by 4. So, first of all, convert it into an improper fraction. 4 ones are 4 plus 3. It is 7 and the denominator will remain same. Now, in the next step, we will multiply the denominator 4 by 25 because it will give us 100. So, the numerator will also be multiplied by the same number. So, 7 into 25 will give us 175 and 4 into 25 will give us 100. So, write the numerator then count the number of digits in the denominator. These are 2. So, from right side count 2 digits and place decimal before them or you can say it is 75 hundreds so 5 should be at hundreds place 7 will be uh, will be at tens place and 1 will move to the left side of the decimal that is at ones place so it is 1.75 now the last part is part l 111 by 250 now this 250 can't be make equal to 100 or 10 because it is more than 100 so we can make it equal to 1000 so, by which number we will multiply 250 by uh, 250 so that we can get 1000. So, if you don't know or if you feel uncomfortable, then what you can do? You can divide 1000 by 250 so you will come to know that by which number you have to multiply 250 because 250 fours are will give you 1000. So, we have to multiply 250 by 4. So, the numerator will also get multiplied by the same number. So, it will be 444 by 1000. So, if there are 3 zeros in the denominator, then write numerator and count from right side 3 digits. 1, 2, 3 and put decimal before 3 digits and 0 in the whole number. Or you can say there should be 3 digits after the decimal point because the denominator is 1000 or there are 3 zeros in the denominator. So, dear students, I hope you would have understood all the questions of exercise 6.4. Thank <laughs> you.